Hello and welcome to the Global Podcast. I am Gwinzer and today we're here to talk a wee bit about what's going on in the world of Global Conflict, which is a Battlefield p- community playing on PC every week. You can go ahead and visit us at global-conflict.org to know more. If some of you may have been wondering where we've been for the past month. We've been on a bit of a hiatus between campaigns. Uh, C3 has been announced and we're going to be launching with that today. Uh, today we're wanting to discuss C3 Generals, High Commands and Officer Selection. Also uh, the timeline that we've got for this campaign and the theme. But uh, before we continue on with that, I shall introduce everyone else who's with me today. We have a docile sloth who is a general for one of the armies. Hello, how's it going? Insanity Rocks, who is our other general. Hello, everyone. And we've also got Lake Fisher here with us. How are you doing, Lake Fisher? Hello. So, uh, as I said, guys, I was after us going through this campaign's generals, high commands, and officers. Uh, Sloth, you've been introduced first. We'd like to introduce us, well, let us know who your high commands and officers are. All right. Uh, to support me in the lucky number seven casino. I have Wildcard, Daminot, and Big D Cowboys playing uh, as my high command. And then taking charge of my infantry division, I have Whiskey Duck as captain, supported by most able Mongo Abaday and 01001. We also have Ghoul in there for good measure as well, to make sure everything is running smoothly. Uh, holding down the fort for my armour, we have Captain Carp as captain and Ishmael as his lieutenant. And then up in the air we have Sergeant Taylor as captain and Seki Happy as his lieutenant. Super, super. And in Sunny Box, what about yourself? Yeah, what's your army and what do they do? Uh well we are the Corleone family and we win. Ha 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 no. <laughs> um so yeah actually uh i'm 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 uh, very excited uh, for this campaign uh my hc um well gwenzer as you know you're uh in my hc number two in charge um i also have cognitocon zorplex and sow uh helping me to keep the army uh running smoothly and uh i guess in my bronx faction um we're he's headed up by uh, Roca, with support from JJ Danois or JJ Denois. Um, we also have uh, Lord Gonzo uh, lending a hand. Uh, in my Brooklyn faction, uh, we have uh, HGX running the show, uh, being supported by uh, Project Two Andy or Dev Group. Um, and in my Manhattan faction, we have uh, Seraphin running the show with the Nix Nix uh, supporting him. Super. That's a very solid group. So we do have an interesting theme this campaign, but before we go on to that and continuing our trash talk, we'll quickly mention the timeline that we have for this campaign, which I'm sure quite a lot of people are expecting. Uh, the player draft has already been opened, and we've already seen about 100 signups, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, it's something about that, and we're hoping for more. 100 isn't enough. Uh, we are we have the player draft. That is going to be next Saturday, so the, the one after this is released coming Saturday, the 7th. No, that's incorrect, sorry. The 12th. The, the 7th is a Monday. Uh, the 12th of July is our actual draft. It will be a live draft, uh, and also that will be our first scrim. We've got our traditional second scrim on the week after that, which is the 19th, and our BFI is on the 26th of July. After that, we'll be playing weekly for our standard battle days. I believe we're also going to uh, be introducing or reintroducing Black Ops, so it'll also be on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Oh, super, yeah. Well, we should be seeing uh, Black Ops as well. Uh, another event we've got running is we are... Uh, the, the Public Relations Committee is after doing a recording session to start a kind of Campaign 3 trailer on the 13th, that's a Sunday, it's the Sunday after our draft. We'll be announcing it then again as well. If anyone would like to take part in that, please PM the PR committee or Mr. Blue, or just apply to the, uh, apply to the committee and you'll be contacted about helping out. 
our GC Twitter feed is also be now being reintroduced. I think it's at Global Conflict. Uh, at, at GC underscore org. Okay, so at GC underscore org, and our lovely Lake Fisher here is handling that Twitter feed. Also, a bit more on the uh, promotional video that we have a thread in our general discussion where you can sign up uh, to be like an actor, or if you've got any skills, just mention it in there because every little helps. Yeah, unfortunately, I have been told that we're not looking up uh, stage skills, it's just being able to move people around. I was told this after I put forth my Romeo Romeo, where art thy Romeo uh, recording. Can I be your Juliet? <laughs> You can be my Juliet. So, Sloth, Insanity, our campaign theme. Do you guys want to let us know what your kind of theme is and how you've come about it? Um, it's, it's, I don't really want to say why I've named my army what I've named, because then people, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, my army's the lucky number seven casino. It's my seventh campaign. And I thought that was quite amusing. Uh, so we're a casino, and we have casino-based themes. Um, the the divisions are named after parts of various games that you would find in a casino. The like the infantry is the Snake Eyes from Craps, and the Armors Twenty Ones from Blackjack, and then the Air Force is Ace High from Poker. And apparently, we've uh, would you say? You've taken a bit of a gamble this campaign with your theme. I, I would Trump indeed. Bumps. Hopefully, it will come up trumps. Snake eyes. Very good. Um, yeah, and it was. I think Insanity's idea is we've we we want to break away from the kind of underworld ruler people that I can't remember what they were called now. It's somewhere in some thread. Yeah. Um. So. Admittedly, I had a couple ideas bouncing around for my army's theme, but when Sloth mentioned Lucky Number 7 Casino, my mind immediately went to the mob and the mafia. So um, that's why I picked the Corleone family. And as I was researching uh, terms, such that's why I don't have divisions. I have factions. Um, and those um, are how uh mob families are divided um a particular uh group of individuals will control a certain area within a city um mine just happens to be new york um since that is the uh, uh the origin of the fictional corleone family um and so i i thought that's yeah let's let's go let's go that route and so i am Don Vito uh, Corleone, the boss, um, and then my HC are my underbosses. Um, Gwinzer being number two is, I, I don't even know the, the Italian, he's the counselor, but that's second in command. Um, and my faction leaders are capos, um, short for capo regime, which is their term for captain. Oh, I thought you were just going to put them on your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they may, they might play guitar. I don't know. And and so uh, going with the Corleone family uh, theme, uh, in addition to Sloth's Lucky Number Seven Casino, I thought that it would be kind of cool if um, we said that. Sloth and his group of people are trying to strike out on their own, coming out from underneath the Sicilian Mob Commission, which I believe is a real organization which does oversee the legitimate businesses, and I, I was using my air quotes, of uh, certain families today. But I believe this campaign, the map was set up so that uh, it's less a representation of like in the past it's always been big armies fighting each other and it's less a representation of sort of political control more a representation of underworld control and i quite like moving away at least for one campaign from the kind of more traditional 
Army X is fighting Army Y and the entire world is blowing up kind of thing. More towards a more kind of a subtle underworld battle. So the subtle underworld battles with their tanks and jets and big bombers. And I didn't stuff. say it was an infallible it's, it's... idea. <laughs> As it pertains to the campaign map, yes, I completely agree with you, Slot. I, I like the idea of sort of getting away from traditional army versus traditional army A versus traditional army B, and more so control of the underworld in a particular territory. But since this is a battlefield community, we determine who controls a particular territory through the game battlefield. So yes, we're going to have tanks and helicopters and SRAs and such. I suppose at the end of the day, the theme is more for the meta game side of things. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we we can't really do mob stuff much. But we've we've also had other campaigns in the past in BF in our BF series where the themes have also been ridiculous. Well, not also been ridiculous, but have been ridiculous. But you know, it's it's Battlefield. Okay, guys. So this has been a quite short podcast, although we've had big news. It's also short news. Uh, we do hope to continue our regular broadcasts from now on that the campaign is back underway. As a reminder to everyone, the draft starts next week. That is Saturday the 12th. It is a live draft. Turn up here on TeamSpeak at tw at uh, SBT. And we'll be doing the draft over TeamSpeak. Once the draft is done, we'll have a short break and move straight on to battles. So get ready to start fighting again this Saturday. Uh, I have been Gwinzer. Today with me has been a Dorsal Sloth and Sanity Rocks and Lake Fisher. We're doing the recording. It's been Mr. Blue. But yeah, thank you for listening and goodbye.